Hey Yokai Watchers, it's CL Games here bringing you the first episode of Yokai Cast, my Yokai Watch podcast where we go over all the level 5 news and some of my opinions on games and such. Uh, this is basically just me um, yapping, as the kids say. I, I hope I'm using that word correctly. Um, but yeah, we're going to go over some Yokai news today. Uh, Megaton Musashi, the fact that I don't like Yokai Watch 2. This information about the Yokai Watch Fan Direct anniversary. And Inazuma 11 Victory Road. So hop on, guys. It's going to be a wild ride. Well, probably not, but you know. I'm just staying stuff. Oh well, it doesn't matter. <laughs> so first up, we have the fact the level five vision was delayed. That's right. Uh, the April per- presentation that we were going to supposed to have that was supposed to show off more information about that game that we think Yokai Watch, um, but it, it, we also think it could be called Ghostcraft or Yokai Watch Ghostcraft. We don't really know. Um, that was clearly going to be the big highlight of the April presentation, and level five could not keep their goals. Like, level 5 needs to stop screwing up. They always have to delay things. In fact, um, I wanted to make this like a while ago, this video, but we recently got information that the story update for the uh, Inazuma 11, like, um, beta, they had to delay that from early May to late May. That is how bad they are at keeping their goals. Couldn't even get a presentation out. Can't keep any, can't keep their word for anything these guys, these days, guys, you know? Um, and the reason why we think that presentation was delayed is the fact that Ghostcraft is probably having development issues. Um, and yeah, that's, that makes sense. I mean, level five has so much stuff on their plate right now and they really are, they they have too much on their plate. You know, guys, level five needs to start cut. They need to, they need to have more realistic goals or have a bigger team. I don't know what. But they've only got one thing out of, like, all the things they've announced recently. So, that, that, that's something. And with, with Megaton Musashi, um, W, their thing that actually came out worldwide, congratulations on that. That is really cool of them to actually do that again. Um, we got Jabani on DLC for that. And I, I, think, it's, I think it's pretty cute. I mean, we, I think if we want to show how much we support uh, Yokai Watch, if you have the game, you should totally get the... Jabanyan DLC, like Jabanyan can like talk during the mission stuff, and it's pretty cute. And yeah, that's gonna wrap up the Yokai Watch news update portion. Um, you guys can also suggest topics for me to talk about in future videos. This is just this this first video is a little bit different because this I've never done this before. But yeah, you guys can let me know in the comments what you'd like me to discuss in a, in like episode two. And moving on to our next section. Megaton Musashi W. So you might not know about this because level 5 didn't promote the game, but I've been talking about Megaton Musashi W. And that's like a mech fighting game, and it's it's really it's really cool. I, I've been doing some streams for that. You guys should check that out. But um the I was this the, the problem with the game is it takes so long to actually get to the game early on. It's just like it, there's like an hour of cutscenes, but like the story vastly improves after a while, and I, I'm laughing at some of the stuff. It's completely absurd. I recommend checking it out. And, like, they get, they get, the gameplay gets a little repetitive, but I think the story is actually, like, the best part of the game after after a while. It's it, it's it's really good, guys. But, um, yeah, like, um, there's so much equipable stuff and, like, customizable for your robots, and, like... I, it's it's fun. I'm I'm not. I don't know really what more to say about it. You should check out the streams. Maybe see if you'd be interested in the game a little bit. And now here is the moment we've all been waiting for. I don't like Yokai Watch Two. That's right. I know that's that's a big hot take, guys. I just I can't really explain it. I'm I'm Yokai Watch Two. It's just I don't have positive emotions associated with that game. And I don't know why. I don't know why. And I guess just like, I'm going to try to explain this. We're going to try to figure this out right now. I guess like, maybe it could be the pacing of the game. And the fact that like, the game just feels very bloated in some sections. And I haven't played this game in a while. So I could be wrong. But that's just, that's what it felt like last time I played it. And like, you're always getting stopped for key quests. And I guess... I don't know, I don't like the key quests in the game. 
it's it's very strange. I mean, I um the game was just bleh. I'm trying to figure out words. Um, but yeah, like it's strange. I mean, I think it's, it's like, let me let me get this all straight right. Like, it's 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 better than the first game, but I just don't like it. I think I like the pace in the first game more. And for the third game, I really, I don't, I also like the third game more. I know that game is also has poor pacing, but it's just, it's something about, like, the environment and the story of the game that I really like. Like, I thought it was fun exploring a USA or BBQ, as they call it in the localization. But, um, I thought that, I, I guess that brought more, exp- I don't know why I just liked that more. Although, Yokai Watch 2 has more, a lot more memorable Yokai. Yokai Watch 3 has so many forgettable Yokai guys, it's, it's just kind of weird. But uh, that's going to bring us into our next topic, the Yokai Watch Fan Direct second anniversary news. So this month, May 2024, is the second anniversary of the Yokai Watch Fan Directs. I've had a lot of fun with the Fan Directs, and we, we definitely got off to a rocky start with those. I mean, the first one is the most viewed one, and I edited that in like three days. I did so much promotion, and I was... I'm not a good editor. It was very, very lazy. Thankfully, 8-Pit does the editing for those now. And, um... Yeah, the new ones are really cool. But, um... The direct for this year, we're only doing it in December. It just makes more sense for everyone, like, time-wise. And, like, we're not doing, like, translations anymore for other languages. We're Like, we are, but we're not doing dubs. We're just going to be subs, subtitles. And just for time... For time's sake and stuff. I mean, German's still going to get it. German gets a dub regardless. Um, seeing as how 8-Pit does that, uh, does that, does the editing and stuff. And you guys should, you guys should check out his channel, subscribe to it. Um, he does, he does some cool stuff on that, uh, that I, I watch once in a while. And I guess about the anniversary, we got some, we got some anniversary stuff we're going to do. Uh, for the second anniversary, I'm going to do kind of like a director's commentary on the Fandorex type of thing, where, like, I'm going to watch them, I'm going to talk about some of the stories of them, talk about the games and the things that came out and haven't come out. It, it, it's going to be an interesting time, guys. Um, which, speaking about that, I have a Yokai Watch server called the Yokai Watch Fandorex server, which will be linked in the description below for those interested. We talk, And you can also get, like, there's an, uh, the L Games ping roll there. So you guys are able to click that to get information about all my streams. That's the best way to get information about when I'm streaming. All the updates related to that. And yeah, it's not just for the fan direct. It's just for Yokai Watch in general. And you can talk about other stuff like Sonic the Hedgehog. And before we move on to our last section for the day, I'd like to remind you guys to like, comment, and subscribe to show your support. Um, I don't only ask for this, but I realized that it's apparently, it's actually statistically good to do that. And I've, I, I think that's kind of just interesting. So I'm gonna see if um we're gonna see if that works out at all. Um yeah, that's pretty interesting. But anyway, on to our next topic and the uh Inazuma Eleven Victory Road. Yeah, the demo for that game is out. That game was supposed to come out ages ago, I think twenty eighteen. Kept getting delayed. There's an anime for what the original story was, but they've completely scrapped that. But the important thing is that the demo's out worldwide. You can check it out now. There's going to be a story update, and it's it's soccer, right? I'm not, like, or f- football, um, whatever you call it. The one where you kick the ball, not the football where you use hands a lot of the time. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I'm not really big into sports and stuff like that, but, like, it's, it's hard to explain, but, like, it's very, like, it's very action-packed. There's special moves, like, everyone has, like, sultimates, like, uh... Like in Yokai Watch, and it's, it's just, it's really, it's, it's like dumb fun, you know. Like, it's, it's worth, a, it's worth a try. I mean, it's a free demo, and yeah, I guess that's, that's just, this is the first episode of Yokai Cast, and I guess we're done quicker than I thought. Um, I'd love to hear you guys come up with topics for me to talk about, kind of like in a, you ask something and then I just talk about it, and we can go through multiple per episode. And I think that would be a really fun format for the next episode of uh, Yokai Cast. So until next time, keep on Yokai watching.